Since nobody else is here, I'll try to get through our rosters before this first whistle. On the Glenmore Reservoir Dogs, we have 004 Projectile, 12 Side Dish, 2104 Nail Bender, 213 Sleep, 22 Bradass, 27 Murderous Muffin, 2931 Taz, 30 Rip, 4 Schemo, 403 Rice Ball, 5150 is Nage. This might be the full roster and not who's playing. That is totally the full roster. My apologies. After Brad Ass comes Taz, 30 Rip, 403 Rice Ball, 52 Dev No, 84 Justice Bass to Crash, 87 Lady Beard, 911 Wolf Blade Jr., 92 Dark Wheel Duck, 93 Doug Drillmore, and 98 Show Me Your Hits. And for the Puget Sound Roller Derby, skating in white, we have 2 1 Bambushka. 2-4, Hater, 369, Global Storming, 37, Riot, 6, Deadly Long Legs, 6-6, six, six, Rampage, 7-1, Jimmy Rage, 7, Fluffy, and 93, Malibu Zombie. Small correction, that's number or 9 is Fluffy. Fluffy's hard to miss on the track. Really? Yeah. Yo, Hater gonna be jamming, starting for the Outcasts. Just banter into the mic. Just give her. That's, you'll find me leaning really close to you guys. Looks like Mystic's gonna be bench coaching Calgary. Or for Glenmore, sorry. I keep wanting to call the Reservoir Dogs Calgary. They are Calgary, but they're not Calgary. Yeah. They're not Calgary. They are Glenmore, the Reservoir Dogs. Schnook City. Work there by, as I dev, oh. Solid hit there by Doug. But then Doug gets knocked out. 37, that's... Riot, Rampage, and Babushka, solid line. Oh. oh, Brad runs into Fluffy. Takes a directional call. When you throw a hit, you do have to be skating derby direction. Brad Ass puts up another four for Calgary. That puts him up, or sorry, Glenmore. That's 12 now. Dips and dodges through. Four more. Hater's not having a lot of luck with this defensive line, but he has not stopped working hard. Brad Ass calling that one from the ground. Hillary, do you think that Brad would be pleased with that jam? Well, he went through a couple times, so I think redemption is probably the word he's looking for. Redemption. Redemption. Uh, he's just looking to not foul out, I think. Yeah, well, let's see about that. That's the goal for everyone this game. Let's play it clean. Projectile coming through. Pro coming in with their signature lowness. Runs into the back of Fluffy. Oh. Projectile chase down. Knocked out there by Deadly Long Legs. They were out of place. They did take a penalty. Oh, with a sweet jump. I see she took a, they took a page from uh, Brad's book there. Why skate when you can fly? Fly the friendly skies. Fast moving game. Puget with a little bit of a shorter bench. I was just thinking that. 
What do they have, nine? They got nine skaters. Oh. Word on the street rough. is they will have a few more skaters tomorrow as more of their players arrive. Nice. Looking forward to that game. And Wolf Ooh. played quickly Ooh. through that pack. Wolf played said no time to wait. A little hop, skip, and a jump. Fancy work, footwork there by Hader. Wolfie calls that jam off. Luckily able to do it before Hader can get those points. Dark Wheel Duck lining up to jam next to... I think that's Global Storming. It is. Yeah. Oh, I believe you're right. Whichever, whoever's name is in the darkest color. <laughs> and Dark Wheel. Oh, Ducky. I quacked oh. for you, Ducky, but that would sound terrible. Bender jumping in the apex there, but did not land in. Cycle back. Oh, oh Dark Wheel. A jam is called off. Who says ducks can't fly? Ducks can fly. Oh, well, news to me. <laughs> Turkeys can't fly. Well, have you seen if, the size of their if, necks? If, if, you're as, if you're as old as I am, you would With God know what that's witness, from. I the thought the WKRP in Cincinnati reference. <laughs> I just thought all birds could fly, except for penguins, you know? Ooh, little lady beard out here. He's got some fancy footwork. I lo look forward to watching him. Lady Beard rocking the 87. That play is known as the fastest way out is down, where you fall down to get out of the pack. I follow that one religiously. That's why I'm downhill. Lady Beard, part of the roster, wears 87. Since Davis was skating yesterday, they had to wear 827 because Betty Davis eyes usually rocks the 87 as well. Yes. They're Jersey twinsies. Conflict of numbers. You know, every time I see cycled uh, back. Pushes their way through. And Lady Weird calls that. See, Rotten Rotten's on the bench. I got the fanny pack, Rotten Broughton. Bench oh, coaching with Sunday. Yes. Sunday's there bench coaching as well. So that's Sunday with the Sunday's that's in the hat. Killer B. killer B. That's Killer B, not oh. Rotten Broughton. Oh. I know I saw a Rotten Broughton here earlier though. Yeah, I know for a fact they were here. I believe you. They just didn't set up their table. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh a, a little, little jammer on jammer up. action. Yes, please. Well, we're starting hoping to get that lead jam status. Did not. Nice call. Brad, not one to give up Puts on a up challenge. Four. Chases down global storming. Name and it threw me off. Yep. Gotcha. As we know from the last game, wearing a, or two games ago, wearing someone else's jersey name on your jersey isn't that uncommon? Very but confusing. Bruce sits with Bruce, a smile. Bruce Bray Pie looked a little bit different. Oh. oh. That did not look good. Uh, 
as with anything to the head, you just want to make sure everyone's okay. Better safe than sorry. I know it's a bit early. Can we get a shout out to our medics though? Shout out to the medics, everybody. We could not have these games without them. Getting their work in these last two games. Yeah. And of course our wonderful referees and non-skating officials, those wonderful humans in black. Mm -hmm. The zebras. But not shorty. You say Boo not shorty. shorty. Boo, Shorty. Boo. I don't even know where Shorty is right now. I don't think they're here. I don't know if they're here right now. Probably outside hanging out. Yeah, we'll get that wrath later. Looks like sleep is out there. Can we uh, have a running bet? Do we think Show Me Your Hits is going to foul out again? Of course, if Show Me fouls out again, okay. we will boo him again. Who's going to foul out first, Show Me or Bradass? Ooh, that's a tough I vote ball. Rice Ball. <laughs> I vote Dev, actually. That's never happened before. No? <laughs> Not ever. Oh. How many penalties? I didn't see it. So no it one's in happen. the league yet. Exactly. Bryce Ball treating us to a little Chicago-style dance on the track. Yeah, go, Choice Rice Ball. Choice your moves, Rice Ball. Or catch him at House of Skate. You know, he's, he basically lives there. Returning to play with Hater Jamming. And projectile Side waiting dish. to come out of the WFTDI penalty there. box. Projectile bouncing their way through. Using race ball for a bit of a whip. Race ball ducking, dodging, running through there. Passes off that star to race ball. Old man jams. Old man jams. Oh. That was a very short old man jams. We'll get him again next time. Stay tuned. And now for a young man jam, Wolfblade Jr. Is that Hater out there again? It could I think be. that is global warming. Global oh. storming. Because Hater just oh. jammed. Yes, you're right. It's global storming. Wolfblade Jr. and Global Storming colliding together. Global Storming does get through. Wolfblade goes from inside to outside and gets through. These guys are speedy. Fast moving pack. Mm -hmm. We do Jam see is called. Two points apiece. Is that Taz pulling a double shift right now? I believe that's a triple shift. Oh my goodness, take a break. Taz doesn't know the meaning of rest. <laughs> that's why they're so darn good. Well, I think that's only Taz's second game. They didn't um, play that one. They wouldn't have played, they wouldn't have played, they didn't play in the Betty's. Oh. Did they play in the Betty's or Bombs game? I don't think so. I don't remember. They might have. I know Taz and Sleep have both played in like, this is their second game in a row. Holy. The this things is, we do for Derby. This is Projectile's first game of the weekend, too. Global. Oh, that's Hater. Little hop on the inside. Duck trying to chase down Hater. 
Dark Wheel Duck giving chase. If he puts the pressure on, he might be able to force a call off. Whoa. But Hader said not today. If Hader was a little bit taller, you'd think he was Everton. Yeah. With all the all the apex jumping. They do look very similar, actually. Where is Everton right now? Isn't he supposed to be playing for the dogs? I don't think he's listed on the roster. Hmm. Oh, in general. In general? Yeah. He skates out of Saskatoon, so. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. We'll have to get him here. <laughs> the dog's always looking for great skaters. I don't know. I don't know if Saskatoon has a has a men's roller derby team, do they? I don't think so. I think that's why uh, Dark Wheel Duck plays with us. A little bean dip there. At halftime, we can ask Dark Wheel Duck what's, what Everton's been up to then. Hey, there you or go. Or Mystic would possibly know. Mystic might know too. Oh, yes. Global calls it off. Brad asks, looking for love before he jams. Please feed his ego, because <laughs> his head's not big enough already. I say that with much love. There we go. Ooh, that is side dish there. Knocking Hater out. Making a long, stretching out this. Oh, Hater almost in. Nice. You know what, I'm just Brad noticing ass. that was a uh, father-son line right there. For anybody who didn't know, Bradass is Rice Ball's son. Oh, I thought he was Rice Ball's father. Oh, it looks like the dogs are going to call for an official review. Oh, let me go lean in there and... Uh... Yes, please. Get nosy. Well, Ash is getting nosy, trying to find out why we're officially reviewing. I'll mention our sponsors. We have the Full Mobility Chiropractic Jam Line, our WFTDI Penalty Box. Our scoreboard is brought to you by Derby Level Up. At halftime at this game, make sure you have your draw ticket if you are over 18 years old for winning possibly a pair, or a gift certificate to Rydell Skates or a dine and stay package at the carriage house down the road, a one night stay in a premium room with a hot breakfast buffet for up to two people and a $50 credit to any of the four food and beverage outlets in the hotel. About a $350 value. That draw is at halftime. I don't know about you, but that sounds really good right now. I could use a night in a hotel. I could use a drink. I could use a massage. Oh, yeah. Which I missed my window on because my old lab is packed up. Looks like we still have a chiropractor there, actually. If you want to get your bones popped, you can do so for 10 bucks. Our vendors are closed for the evening, but Nerd Roller Skates will be back tomorrow, along with Calgary and Calgary Junior Roller Derby and Chinook City Roller Derby's merch booth as well. Get yourself a $2 t-shirt or a free water bottle. Those t-shirts. Oh, yeah. I'm waiting to, see, waiting to see what happens, but they did not actually use their official review. So I think what they were... So they, I think they were looking for a cut on Hater for their official review, but the officials pulled aside and already made the decision before they made that official review. So they did not lose their official review. They did not even use their official review. And that means they also start with a power jam. Pardon? That means they also start with a power jam. They, they will start on a power jam. No pressure. Pro's got this. Let's go, Pro. So the officials decided to review well, the, what the dogs wanted an official review on. So he didn't have to use an official review. 
to get their official review. That worked out perfectly. In their favor. Oh. Oh. We got a forearm there on Fluffy. Projectile made that jump. Fluffy got that arm out a little too much. Projectile whips around the outside there. Jimmy can all, only sit there and... Projectile hits the pack. Looking for that no pack. And gets through. Sees where Hater is. Hater's going to have to work hard to get past that line of dogs. Cycled back, but so is Hater. Dev making some space for Pro. Pro gets through. Calls off that jam before Hater has a chance to score any points. I'm glad to see Wolf Play Jr. is feeling a little bit better. They got hurt the yesterday. I think their elbow pad kind of rolled down their arm and they fell on their elbow. Oh, that's the worst. A little floor a little, burn. A little stinger. Ooh. I hope you clean that out. Oh, Wolfie nice. Wolfie threw. I'm seeing some pretty solid lines out there. Well, we guess who calls that? No. Looks like we're going to have some old man shame in the box as Rice Ball's head in there. The pivot. Oh, shame, Rice Ball. Shame, shame. Rice Ball. Shame. Shame. A little dark wheel duck up here for the next jam against, uh, I'm That's not sure. Jimmy Rage. Jimmy Rage. Jimmy Rage. Not just normal rage. Jimmy, Jimmy Rage. rage. We should introduce him to uh, Short Fuse then. Jimmy Rage and Short Fuse. Oh! oh. Ho, ho. Dark Wheel almost got through. And cycled way back there by, that's Hater. Dark Wheel going for a forearm. They're on Hater. Jimmy still hasn't finished that initial pass. Should still get that lead jam status. Taz running back Jimmy Rage. Taz and cycling running him the back. plays. <laughs> and now we are skating for the full two minutes. And Hater's now taking over as J Jammer. Jimmy could have got lead jam status should he get should they have been able to get through. But once you take physically take that star off yourself, you cannot get lead jam status. Just to also have a note: this is actually a sanctioned men's roller derby game. This is MRDA official officially sanctioned game. This is the Glenmore Reservoir Dogs' third sanctioned game of the season. I believe their goal is five. If you're looking for the previous ones, I think you can find them on YouTube. That's right. They played uh, Puget and Lane County Concussion Dark two weeks around. ago. They look at the clock. That pack is moving fast. Global Starming going against Ladybeard. Oh, it looks like Puget Sound's going to look for a official review. Go be our little spy on the wall, please. 
You've got the traveling mic. It's always important that your roller derby announcers remained informed at all times, which is why we send Ash to spy on the referees. Of course, as a player at this time, you're more concerned about your muscles cooling down and forgetting what you're doing while you wait for the timeout to end. <laughs> so they are looking for a back block on Dark Wheel Duck when Dark Wheel came out of the box. He ran into White 79. <laughs> I believe. And so they are looking for a back block penalty when Dark Wheel came out of the box. Looking for a back block? Yeah, back block, or yeah, he ran into uh, 71 there. Our wonderful tournament head ref is conferring with the team, making sure everybody understands what gets called, how and why. Communication in roller derby is important for all of the teams, including Team No Fun. Shout out to uh, Honey Smacks over here, making sure all our taping jobs are in track. Honey Smacks taping the track, making sure that the day runs on time and playing. How does she do it? I think a lot of sugar and caffeine is the answer. Ah, uh, yes. Coffee. Um, let's see what the outcome is. What's our schedule? What's our schedule look like tomorrow? Tomorrow we're looking at uh, Toronto Men's Roller Derby starting the day against Puget Sound Outcasts, followed by Team Ontario Roller Derby versus the Redneck Bettys. Midday we'll see the Northern Pikes versus the Natural Born Thrillers, followed by the NF Bombs versus the Calgary All Stars. Glenmore Reservoir Dogs are going to end the tournament by facing up against TMRD once again. That's Toronto Men's Roller Derby. It's going to be a great weekend. Lots of derby to come. Toronto have the day off and then they have double duty tomorrow. Start and end the day. Toronto better eat their Wheaties. Of course, most of this play these players, especially the local ones, playing on numerous teams. You will see people wearing other people's jerseys and their own jerseys on teams such as the Glenmore Reservoir Dogs, the Natural Born Thrillers, the Calgary All-Stars, Team Alberta. We like to share out in the West. And you know what? Thanks, thanks to Puget Sound for coming out here. Like, that's... That's, that's a long quite, drive. quite the trek to come and to play a couple, a couple games of roller derby. And that's a long, hot drive if you drive through the Badlands of Washington. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. Whether you drive or fly, it's uh, quite the trip. Driving, flying, sleeping in your car, we're happy you're here. Global warming there. Global Storming doing a whip there on his own player to get through. Lady Beer being cautious, making sure. Don't want to step on Riot. Sleep's going for a forearm. Global Storming gets through and calls off that jam. Global Storming is the captain of the Puget Sound Roller Derby Outcasts. Woo! All that noise must mean it's Bradass. Getting saucy, looking for redemption. 
otherwise known as Dr. Bradford Reski, who uh, is a full mobility chiropractic and sponsoring our jam line today and for the entire tournament. We've got Fluffy jamming. Brad quickly makes way through, way through that pack. And Fluffy cycled around. Justice Fluffy knew right away. That was a back lock. Brad always Hope a big fan of a power jam. Just got through and just skated right off the track. They knew what was coming. Brad ass. That's like a little triple jump there through the apex. Four points are only a hop, skip, and a jump away. A little, little hippity hop. Global Storming catches enough of Brad. Brad pointing out who it was. So they block him. There's Rip out there along with Justice Bassa Crash and Sleep. Wants to make sure he starts the next jam off right for Projectile. And Doug Drillmore starting this jam in the box for the dogs. <coughs> Got at least 10 seconds left in that penalty because Fluffy is not standing. Excellent work there by Side Dish to open up that inside lane for Pro. A little bit of offense goes a long way. Projectile. Like that little head fake they always do right before they hit a pack. Projectile, of course, always attacking the pack in a calm, reasoned manner. Oh, there's a, I don't know what. There we go. Bodies are smashing around. Projectile knocked back. Held up a bit by Hater, but does manage to get through. Scoring four points. Fluffy handing off the star to Peter's Hater. now taking the star for Puget Sound. And Projectile says that's enough for right now. We'll save some for later. Puget One more Sound's timeout. calling a timeout. Catch their breath, grab some water. I don't the truth of the they nine have a short man. bench. Yeah. The nine-man line means that you do need a break as only four skaters get to rest and they only get one jam to rest before they're back on. I've played in a number of nine-man lineups myself. It's a rough day, but a fun day. I'm pretty sure Puget Sound will use all three of their timeouts this half. All three next half. They're going to need it. And their official review, at least for a timeout. Mm. 58 points separating these teams. It is still close. I think pretty much until you have a triple digit lead in Derby, nothing's safe. Nothing even is then, certain. a triple digit still kind of. You can still a, lose the lead. A solid power jam can net you 20 to 30 points. It's still anyone's game. 
But Wolfie's going to do some work to make sure that it's the dog's game. Dev knocked down. Dev no had a seat, courtesy of Fluffy. <laughs> Wolfie hoping to try and stay in. With a big smile on his face. And pushed out with a the forearm there, but didn't knock out both their skaters. Bass Crash was asking for a cut penalty. Wolfie comes through. Runs into, who is that? That is Riot. And he stood tall. A duck, a weave, a shimmy, a shake. Sees Wolfie recycle to the back of the pack. Caught enough for Wolfie to cycle them back. It's a cut there on Global Storming. There was confusion on what was going on, what that penalty was. And Wolf Blade calls off that jam. As the clock ticks down, just a friendly reminder that we are doing that draw in about five minutes. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the draw. Please stick around for that draw. We have a lot riding on that. Low ride down. Does everyone on. have their tickets? Oh, yes. Make sure your tickets are out and in your hand. Oh, because, if, if, oh. because if you do not claim your prize, then we will move on. My ticket's in Dev Nell's wallet, so if they call my number, somebody else is going to get to win. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ash doing a good job of being a very nosy man. We appreciate him. And these games would not be possible without our wonderful volunteers, and they would not be possible without you, our wonderful spectators who came and paid the entrance so that we could pay the venue for this wonderful floor. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you all again tomorrow for five incredible roller derby games. Or bouts, if you're old like me. So dogs were looking for an insubordination call on Global Storming for that penalty that happened here for the cut. But there was the officials had a review and they determined that there was no penalty taken on that play. So since there's no penalty taken on that play, there could not be an insubordination call on it because there should have been no penalty called in the first place. So all that confusion. And that determination sees Hater out of the box. Ladybeard back on the jam line, trying to make his way through. Do you think we'll have another eat the baby situation right now? Uh, Hater did get lead just by a hair. Ladybeard working hard to make sure that he can even out any points that happen. Fast moving pack. As both skaters are past their initial pass. Ladybeard uh, almost got through. Pass. These passes are for points. Solid hit there. That's Jimmy on Ladybeard. Ooh. Oh, Fluffy takes a failure to reform penalty. A little bit too out of too far out of the pack in order to make that hit. 
on Lady Beard. So make sure you got those tickets. Does everyone have their tickets for the draw? If you're over 18 and you have a ticket, you must have it at the time of calling or we will call another number. Oh. The Reservoir Dogs said, we're gonna use both of our official reviews. Thank you very much. As this is a sanctioned game, this will affect the rankings in the MRDA standings for both teams, determining who stands where when it comes time for champs. So the dogs are looking for a call on the outcast jammer for taking a down position to avoid a hit. Devnell demonstrating for us. Do it Thanks, again. Dev. Do it again, Dev. Walk that duck. How's it going, Joe? Don't you wish you had some swag you could give away and run around and ask Derby trivia? Yeah. And as we wait, I'm going to remind our wonderful Puget players and there. our Glenmore Reservoir Dogs players to think about the MVB and MVJs for no this game. Away. Please we don't forget. We got some wonderful MVB and MVJ prizes up here. Hillary, did the rookie MVBs and MVJs get their little flair? The rookies were asking me about the flair they didn't get yesterday. And the dogs have lost. The dogs have lost that. Brad ass. Oh, that was close. Luckily, jumped over deadly long legs. I think I might have one for her. Rice ball chasing down global storming. Or not rice ball, that's Brad ass. Well, they look similar, so. Young rice ball. Yeah, sometimes I have to make sure I'm uh, going up behind the right person there. When they take their helmets off, you can't tell them apart. It's very scary. This is some fast derby. You'll see this in MRDA. Uh, sometimes they decide to just speed skate. The refs, of course, love this. Oh, yeah. They're big fans of this. Especially those outside refs. Yeah, those oh. OPRs working hard, getting their cardio in. Getting a good workout in, that's for sure. A little cardio. Looks like we've slowed down finally. Brad hops the apex. A classic Brad hop there. Today we spell redemption. He's been watching redemption. Hater do it so much he has to do it himself. I believe I can fly. One of our frequent flyers, Projectile, getting ready to line up on the full mobility chiropractic jam line or several tens of feet behind the jam line for a spicy start. I wonder Projectile. who taught them that. And an easy lead. Ooh, Ooh very nice. We call that play the slippery weasel. Richard <laughs> almost stood in there. Got knocked out by Rampage. Calls off that jam, but Hater was able to score three. Minute and a half until we get to draw to see who wins that carriage house stay in a premium room. Buffet breakfast for up to two people the following morning and $50 gift certificate to any of their four food and beverage locations. 
and also someone who will win a $250 Rydell Skates gift certificate. Generously donated by the Carriage House and Rydell Skates. Jimmy's taking a cut penalty and is going to be heading to the WFTDI sponsored penalty box. Thank you, WFTDI. One for keeping our skaters safe and covered, and two for sponsoring our penalty box. Indeed. I feel like you should take out a monocle before you say indeed. 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 It's my favorite catchphrase. Wolfie got calls that, that jam. <laughs> Said, ouch. Looks like we're good. We are going to be able to start this next jam. We will be on jam time. Because this jam will start with like two seconds left on the clock. Two seconds is enough time for a few points. If it's, if it's anything like what they were doing before, it's plenty of time. Dark Wheel jamming up against Global Storming. Global Storming pushing on that pack of heat side dish and sleep. Or sleep side dish and show me your hits. Ooh. Oh, race ball and sleep head to the box. The pack racing again. We're back to our speed skating special. Fast moving pack. This is in the benefit of the for the dogs. Wanting to keep it moving. Global storming calls that off. The dog strategy. And we got there. a bucket. We've got a bucket. It's halftime. Are you ready for more derby? I'm ready for more derby. Let's have some roller derby. Good thing it's already on. Bradass going against Global Storming. Storming the gone. apex. Blink you, you missed the start of this jam. Bradass with a... Oh, Bradass taking a cut penalty. Whoopsie doodle. Ooh. Oh. Fluffy getting blocked by one of his own blockers. I'm sure Side he's okay Side dish there at the it. bottom of that pack. Taking a moment to uh, tie his skates there, hater, hey? Oh, no, sorry. Global storming. My bad. Side dish knocked back. Oh, that was a forearm there on. Want to know something crazy? Yes. I think that might be show me your hits first penalty of the game. No, we've made it this far. Show me made a whole that half with no penalties. Show me your hits first penalty of the game. Shame, show me shame. Shame. I say that's redemption. I say yeah. That's, that's not shame. No, that's actually pretty good from yesterday. The fact that it were, the fact that we're tw <laughs> done the first half and show me your hits, and Bradass have a combined two penalties is quite is quite the miracle. Well, don't jinx them now. Pro comes hot out of the pack with lead. Hater right on their heels. And Pro with a four points to call off. Call that the Jersey slide. The Jersey what? Actually, a Jersey slide is when you change lanes from the right all the way to the left in one motion. 
Learn something new every day. And some of them are true and some of them are not. I thought a derby slide was when you slide off the back of Dev Null or Basta Crush because they're so sweaty. We call that the fat slippery. Uh, That's a multiplayer block there on Global Storming. Looks like a power jam situation. Wolf Blade comes through. Gets that elbow a little high, or there's a shoulder, I think, a little high there. This will release Global Storming, and Wolf Blade will have to sit for as long as he did. Caught deadly long legs. And long legs shaking it off. Saying they're okay. Speeding that pack up. Glenmore trying to protect their points. Storming quickly on the inside, scores four. We are Fluffy. skating for the full 30 now, too. Or for, sorry, full two minutes. Oh. Anybody get the number on that plane? Got a little bit of a prey to penalties now. Penalty heavy this uh, first few jams back into our second half of the final game of the day today. Deadly long like said yeah. they're okay, but. Wolfie brought down hard. Says they're okay. Was pushed out by Fluffy, who was pushed out by Rice Ball. That was a rough two minutes. Wolfie really snuck by at the end there. Caught Fluffy fixing his wrist guard and managed to sneak by and snag a couple of points. Everyone appears to be okay. And now who do we have up next? It looks like a Dark Wheel Duck and Jimmy Rage. Looks like, oh, Deadly Long Legs is actually going to see the medics. I hope they're okay. Hater and Dyke, Dark Wheel cycle each other back. Dark Wheel scores lead jam status. Jimmy Rage fighting hard against a tight wall of dogs, getting a little bit of offense to get out. Some time Jimmy. to get that cover on his head. Oh, Fluffy took a penalty there. I missed that one. And that is going to end Fluffy's day. I do love the eye contact call off. Yeah. So we'll have a bit of an... Uh, Official timeout here because they'll have to sort it out. They'll have to have someone come replace Fluffy. Fluffy will need to wait. Do they have somebody to replace Fluffy though? To replace someone in the box. Like Fluffy was replaced. That is Global Storming. His name's not on the scoreboard, but it is in our hearts as he jams his way That's to his scoring pass, spinning it to win it. Sometimes I think jammers are just glorified ballerinas on skates. They're happiest when they're dizzy. You see the same thing with hockey, with like between hockey and figure skating. Yeah. Like they tell hockey players to take figure skating classes, because just it uses a different set of muscles and just different skill sets. Sure does. With skating, all skating is good skating and will make you a better skater. Try a different style of skating today. Not by us, though. 
We just no. talk. All we do storming. is turn left. Ooh. Oh. Global Storming is killing it. This jam has put up 12 points so far. Now it's... Old Man Jam. Old, Old man, man Jam. jam. Old man jam. We oh. love you, Rice Ball. What a short old man jam that was. The old man's happy that it was a short old man jam. Oh, yeah. Show him some love, folks. Arthritis can't hold him back. We love you, Rice Ball. Global Storm was able to put up 16 points on that jam. The three for the dogs. Brad ass on the attack. Whoa. And he makes it Hater. through. Nice. Hater tried to push Brad ass out but couldn't. I Keeping the heat on. A little panty toss action. Oh, that was so close. Hater was able to block that line just enough. Brad ass comes through, catches all of Malibu Zombie. That fancy footwork. Or sorry, Malibu Zombie. And that high intensity. Oh. Brad, of course, you would have seen playing and coaching all day today. Oh, it is Malibu Zombie. Just spelt wrong on there. And there it's M A I L. Oh. How are penalties but on looking? this, it's M A L. Three? How are the penalties looking? Penalties aren't, penalties aren't looking that bad. No one's in yellow. Oh. That's Fluffy. Fluffy fouled out. Poor Fluffy. You hate to see it. Unless you're on the Glenmore Reservoir Dogs. Then we're very happy to see that. The amazing thing is both Show Me Your Hits and Brad Ass didn't take a penalty until the first jam of the second wow. half. Wow. That actually surprises me. The officials are going. Uh, official timeout. This is a team timeout. This team timeout brought to you by We Need a Rest because it's been a long day. Amen. I must say, I do appreciate the fact that uh, I do believe all of the female players on the Puget Sound team are have some derby makeup, which is pretty awesome. I am loving their makeup. I'm, I'm loving that derby makeup. Makeup brings back the old school days of two twos, penalty wheels, and two whistle starts. <laughs> Got a little, have a little fun, you know? For the fun, for the friendship, for the flying around the oh. apex and getting lead. What a sneak. S snuck in there and did a quick whip on, yeah. uh, who is that? That is Bambushka. Ooh. Projectile forced out by Jimmy. And then turns around and runs into Riot. Projectile said, I'll just uh, take you out there. Outcasts are going to be playing back-to-back -back games on this flat track fever. Luckily, the second game is tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Oh, only 9 a.m.? Better go to bed early tonight, Puget. Well, to make it worse, that's 8 a.m. for them. Oh, you're right. That is a different time. Oh, I'm so sorry. We apologize for the jet lag. I heard some players that drove in this morning on Puget Sound saw the northern lights. Northern Lights visible in the entire Northern Hemisphere last night and potentially tonight as well. Ooh, I'll the have to next that one most up. exciting thing to Derby. Dark will yes. Bombushka giving a bit of chase to Dark Wheel. Make sure to stop before they went out of play. Get 
gave that uh, blocker a little hug there, there, Ducky. Friendly hug from behind. Coming. Oh, and Bastard Crash going for a high block now. Oh, shame. Bastard Crash thinking, ah, Dark will need some company in the box. That's true. True friends get stick together. Lonely. Need a little bit of a breather. Hey, how you doing? Just under 19 minutes left. Ooh, nice jump. Brad S would be very proud. I'm looking forward to seeing the photos of this game after. Hopefully Fatal Fantasy has a lot of good photos of uh, Global jumping at Apex. Not like they haven't had opportunities to take pictures of them jumping the Apex. Ooh. If you do want to look and see what Fatal Fantasy is taking pictures of, there is a card and or uh, QR co code on the CCRD table, which has the free water bottles. If there's any left, I, I think actually there's one see left. one. Yeah, I see one. Right. Somebody please take that water bottle before you leave today. Please, please and take that please water bottle. Please check out Fatal Fantasy because you'll see all the really cool pictures she's been taking this weekend. And we like Fatal. We love our photographers and we love our referees and officials making sure everybody follows the rules and plays nicely. Along with our players and our audience, thank you all for coming near and far. We really appreciate it. Seventeen minutes and a hundred thousand jams left in this game. Mark your calendars and get ready for Flat Tech 2025. I think you get to join us. You can volunteer. Always looking for volunteers, especially if you're a medic. Yes. Announcers. Flat Track 2025 already in the planning stages. If your team or league is interested in participating, talk to one of the lovely league members of Chinook City Roller Derby. I believe Honey I, Smacks would love to know. One of the things I tell people is like, they're like, oh, I don't know about announcing. I'm like, you don't even have to know anything about Derby. Like, Not as long as one of the two people knows so something about Derby, you just carry it and you're just here to have fun. Like, and that's talk a lot of smack. Talk smack, have fun. Turn left. Ooh. And sometimes jump. Ladybeard with a really nice recovery after stumbling. You know, that does happen. Working the pack through the apex diligently, but getting drawn back for a little recycling. Jimmy working on that pack. <laughs> I was like, I was like, who, who's the jammer? Oh, there, there's Lady Beard. Lady Beard mercifully calls that jam. Sometimes when the momentum dies, you just gotta call the jam and start again. Puget Sound already had that. The king of momentum on the pitch. track. It's Bradas. Our sponsor for this uh, jam line this weekend, Full Mobility Chiropractic. Brad asked the Full Mobility Jammer hey. and the Full Mobility Chiropractic. Hit him up for any <laughs> cracking oh. needs. I know he did have a spring special going on. I don't know if that's still happening, but the prices were right. What up, Phil? How are you? Tired? 15 and a half minutes left. 15 and a half minutes. Of game time. How is your day two of flat track fever, Phil? Fill us in. No pun intended. No comment from Phil Diamond. <laughs> but we do love him, our head NSO. <laughs> At least they were saying no pun intended. <laughs> okay. Oh, somehow a timeout got called and we were just talking to Phil. Oh. This is a team timeout, probably for Puget. 
I don't know if Brad can hear me, but if you can, do a little jig. Oh, is that thought, a little jig? Oh, I thought he heard you for a second there. <laughs> I thought, I that thought was... he heard you. Oh. Hey, that counts. I'll take it. Ooh, who is this? Malibu That's Hater. Zombie. That's Hater. Uh, That's Hater. Hater's gonna hate. Hater's gonna hate. Brad. Hater's gonna skate. Brad. And he better skate because there's Brad ass. Oh, oh eat the baby. Oh. No. Oh. It was so close. We should have counted all the games that had to eat the baby today. One. There's only been, one. It's only been one successful We've eat the baby. We've said it so many times. And then the eat the but then that and that eat the baby also they Eight. got they both ended up behind the pack too. Oh. That was in the Calgary All Stars versus Team Ontario sure game. Was. The baby was eaten twice. Yeah. Both babies were eaten. Seeing some helmet covers flying around. Hope everybody has their role sorted out because it's time to derby. Pro hitting them hard. And Global storming gets that lead jam status. Pro with the little jumpy jumps. Oh, that's gonna oh, be a cut. Shame. Um, pro. pro. A little jazz hands to get you through the pack. Global storming does it with style. That gives Calgary the opportunity to only have to do, or sorry, the dogs only have to do offense, defense. Daddy Long Legs is still in the with the medics there. They took that bit of a hit from Wolfblade earlier. Doug showing restraint and not hitting out of bounds. Good job, Doug. How about this Puget Sound team? Like they are down. They only had nine skaters. They're still making this a game. They are crushing this. Global Storming has put up 12 points so far this jam. Wow. 13 now, puts them over the sentry marks. Considering they're down six skaters, and effectively now they're down to, they only have two, two, two spare skaters. Oh no. Basically it's Hater and Global Storming going back to back, like just. Oh. The only ones who get to rest are the jammers. Taking turns jamming back to back. There is no rest in Derby, clearly. And These they're also out of their timeouts. Oh. Showing a lot of heart, not giving up, never surrender, never give up. We believe in you, Puget. You can do this. We believe in the power of friendship and the power of Derby and the power of Wolfblade to get lead again. Good job, Wolfblade. Whoa. Oh, Wolfblade tried a little bit of eat the baby. Yeah, nice hit coming around the corner. I don't know who has the cowbells, but ring those babies. I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. And roller derby, of course. Of course. It's just a good thing that it looks like Hater and Global Storming are, are younger, some younger members. Oh, so, they have more skating uh, as many. <laughs> they have the reserves. Jams. They've got the juice. They've got the fire. Yeah, they're young the and prosperous. They're fine. Not looking winded at all. Got an official timeout now. There may be some bleeding, which requires uh -oh. dressing. You are not allowed to bleed on the track in flat track roller derby. It is against the rules. Yeah, please don't bleed. We'll make you clean it. It's a cool name for a movie. Sure What a bad thing to do in reality. That and throwing up. Please do not throw up on our track. We do have designated buckets if you do find yourself skating to the point of needing to throw up. The and gold then, bucket is just for you. And then you must sign said bucket to enforce the shame. I've only seen it happen twice. Well, last year there was a lot more. Depends on the ambient temperature. Mm. 
and what the skater ate for lunch. Which you'll find out in the bucket. <laughs> Looks like Global Storming had a little wheel trouble, but Dark Wheel helped him out. I've only seen juniors, juniors throw up on the track, but that is how Projectile got their name. Yes, and if you is. look at Projectile's sticker, yes. I just realized it was a mouth <laughs> vomiting. They do have that rep. Dark Will bringing the intensity to get that lead. Show me with a drawback. Recycling Global Storming. The only way to combat Global Storming is, in fact, recycling. Oh, I like that. I just got that. I like that. Doing what I can to entertain myself. Hopefully, you guys are entertained, too. Dark Bill tries to jump the apex, does not. Nice. Scores zero points because they did not land inbounds. Even though they passed skaters, they you still have to land inbounds in order to It was still a good some. jump. Good job, Ducky. We're proud of you. It looked good. Sure did. I bet the pictures are real good too. The picture will be fantastic. That's Fatal Fantasy taking our photos today. Fatal has a QR code on the Chinook City table, scan that QR code to see the pictures from today's tournament, this weekend's tournament. We've actually had today. a lot of uh, photographers this weekend. Rice ball taking yes. pictures as well. Our very own. Our very own Lady Beard working hard and getting lead. Nice. Or, yes, I'm Lady right. Lady Beard got lead there. Eat the baby. Eat the baby. You know, I'm missing Ladybeard's uh, pink tutu that he wore in uh, Salem last weekend. Although I think the Aftershocks third base wore it best. Yes. There was a game that Ladybeard showed up to and they were clean shaven. It was weird. Oh, yeah. Like, then it's just not Ladybeard anymore. It's Bradass. Lady Sandsbeard. Make some noise for Bradass, everybody. Please feed his ego. Because I want to hear about it on the way home. Ooh. Oh. Brad S runs into his, uh, the pack. You know, he got a visor so that he stopped getting hit in the face. I don't think it's working so well for it him. It doesn't help when you rub your face against someone's yeah. body. Hard work to keep your face off of people. Hater with some solid D there, holding Brad up. Oh, falls Hater down. with the elastic yep. Brad angles. calls that jam off. If anybody's interesting, interested, a fun fact about Brad is he jams about as good as he drives. Does he get that many penalties with when reckless he drives? abandon? Yes, he he is a uh, jammy driver. <laughs> now I don't know what that means, but it's scary. Ducking and dodging through traffic. Weaving. Yeah. Unrelated fact, a jammy dodger it's is the Scottish here. name for a jam sandwich. A what? A jammy dodger. Oh, I like that. We have a dodger. I feel like dodger should rename him himself to jammy dodger. There is a, there's a skater from a diff different team named jammy dodger. Is Dodgers from Edmonton. I think they oh. were. Oh. Clearly, I don't know Edmonton rosters. Oh, 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 oh. Taz on the attack. He's shooting the duck. Look at that, that even getting good. the. I'll you, give it to you. That was real good. You know what's a rock star move when the other, other bench is applauding you as you skate by. Right? Oh, a good jump there. Projectile the flying around the track. Projectile with the old, anything you can do, I can do better. A truly entertaining jam. Always fun when the jammers challenge each other. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
I think Fatal Fantasy got that on camera because they're showing. Oh. Check the sweetness out. That would be a great picture to see. Oh, look at Dark Wheel. Saying, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. Wolfbird's worthy, however. Holy. Takes the lead and runs away. Well, you know what we're expecting, Wolfie and Hater. You know what we want. There's no one here still jump the apex. No reason to jump it unless there's players there. Nice thing that's right on the camera, too. <laughs> oh, I'll be watching that later. For anybody who is interested, all these games will be on YouTube for In you to replay. Partialness. The games have been mostly recorded, just so everyone's aware. There are missing pieces. All these games in somewhat of their portion. Hopefully we get the juicy bits. Yeah. And if anybody's interested on uh, Puget Sound and the Glenmore Reservoir Dogs latest game in Salem Slam 2, that is also on YouTube. And I believe that is under Lane County Concussion, I believe, is the YouTube channel. You've got that right, Hillary. It's Lane County Concussion on YouTube. They have the last game that the Reservoir Dogs played against Puget Sound, as well as the games Puget played against. The Aftershocks, the Dogs against Lane County, Lane County against Puget. It's a men's roller derby extravaganza. We do love that men's roller derby. And this is, of course, a sanctioned game, so the points do matter. As does the spread. As does the fun. And the fun. Dark Wheel and Jimmy Rage looking to bring us a little bit more fun here in the closing six minutes of the Dark game. Dark Wheel now. Hop, oh. skipping, jumping, hop. pushing. Held up by oh, Hater. Oh, very nice. Solid there, holding off. At it again. Dark Will trying to push through. It's able to push Hater all the way to the edge of play. Force that no pack. Oh, Dark Will's almost able to get through. Pushed out by Riot. And calls it off with style and grace. It's a 106 Sound point game. That star. Who wants it? Well, will Storman coming back in. Going up against Lady Beer. Little fist bump. Five chickens has been called. Five chickens, the number of chickens that I'm going to eat tonight. That sounds lovely. I'm <laughs> starving. Well, unfortunately for us, Frankie's Grill is already closed, so we'll have to go elsewhere for food. I think they are open tomorrow, though, for our last day of Flat Track Fever. Bringing you all your poutines. Oh, oh ho, A BLT, I heard they have. That was they almost do. a sweet little move there. Global Storming tried to hold on to the back of, that would be Bambushka, and, like, whip around them. I do love a good T-shirt whip. I've seen... Uh, Calgary, I think Projectile did that in a jam. Yes. That would sound about right. Where you Lady whip Beard around the did in, not you, feel in, like not on the track, you whip from the in, on the inside of the track around the pack. Oh. Four minutes left in the game. Brad, are you going to do a peg assist? Let's get a peg assist from Brad. Dev Null can provide that for us. Oh, look at them holding hands. Jimmy. How sweet. Brad asked oh. out again. That was a hard fall. They are okay. And Jimmy takes a star off. Very nice. Through. Brad asked with a nice little jump through the... They sleep in the box. Brad getting ready to... Calls that off before Jimmy gets to that pack. Oh, 
107 at 225. Three minutes and 18 seconds left. Let's see if they make this two or three jams, or maybe one two, jam. Maybe three jams. Maybe three. Oh, we got an official timeout. Oh. Just kidding. Psych. <laughs> go we are now okay the jam is on our very own projectile getting out first projectile of course you would have seen at the nerd roller skates booth go visit them tomorrow as I don't think you'll have time today Visit who, sorry? Projectile at the Nerd Booth. Oh, at the Nerd Booth? Yeah. Well, it's closed right now. Sure I know, is. I know we're going there tomorrow because Chevy Impaler says we need some stink spray for their feet. Oh, yeah. The skates, man. Those are the worst ones. Of course, the brick-and-mortar location of Nerd Roller Skates is located at the House of Skate where many skaters will go to skate tonight, adult night from 9 until midnight. If they're not too tired. Well, I know about you, but my bed's calling me. Oh! Global Storming tried to sneak low there on the inside. Or outside, sorry, not inside. Wolfblade Jr. getting out for that lead jam. Devnall knocked Null down. Said. Global Storming took a penalty there. I'm not sure what for. Let's see. That was for low block. Of course, when running offense, sometimes you want to let your jammer push the opposition out front so that the engagement zone stays far behind. Mm -hmm. Global storming deep in the engagement zone. Do you think Wolf. Wolfie's going to play out the time here, or do we think he's he might call it? Well, as long, he, only do, he doesn't have to play it all out. He can call it. There's not much time left, so I guess we'll find out. Wolfie looking to run the clock down on this jam, I think. Snagging another four points on the way through. Oh, Dev takes a high block there. Is that Dev's first penalty? I think what? that is. No. No, that can't be Dev's first. That's Dev's third. Oh, it's Dev's third penalty. Never mind. And there we have it. As we validate the scores, I'll remind the teams. Side dish please there. Please give us your MVB and MVJs, your most valuable blocker and jammers. We'll need that from both teams, please. Get your high fives while they're hot and fresh, folks. That's roller derby for the day. And then make sure to wash your hands after, please, because that's gross. High fives. <laughs> 